Bow down your head and begin to talk to God. God, I'm here this morning. I want to hear your word. Speak directly to my heart. Let your word transform me. Let me experience change in your, in your word. Talk to God in prayer. Talk to God in prayer. Talk to God in prayer. Amen. Amen. Welcome once again to the presence of God. Turn your Bible with me to the book of Luke chapter 12. Luke chapter 12. I'm going to read 47 and 48. And that servant who knew his master's will and will not prepare himself or do according to his will shall be beaten with many stripes. But he who did not know yet committed things deserving of strife shall be beaten with few. For everyone to whom much is given, from him much will be required. And to whom much has been committed, of him they will ask the more. They will ask the more. Praise God. By the special grace of God this morning, I'm speaking on a message to whom much is given, much is expected. To whom much is given, much is expected. Indeed, in 2017, much is given to us because we serve a faithful God. Much is given to us. According to the book of Colossians chapter 2, Verses number 14 and 15, the Bible says, Having wiped away and dry thing that is uh, resting against us. Praise God. Look at what Jesus did for us. Amen. But the Bible says, Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it of the way, nailing it to the cross. Praise God. He has done so much for us in 2017. Please give me verse number 15. He has done so much for us in 2017. If you started looking at the journey of 2017, you will know that God has done a lot of things for you. And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a shield of them openly triumphing over them in it. Praise God. Praise God. The ordinances that was against our life, that was against our destiny, demand Jesus write it off. Not that alone in 2017. Not that alone. He nailed it to the cross. Not that alone. Praise God. He spoiled the principalities. Praise God. And power and make open show of them. Praise God. Children of God, much has been given to us in 2017. And our maker is expecting much from us. I'm going to mention seven things, seven important things that God did for us in 2017. Then I'm going to tell you five things that he's expecting from us in 2018. Praise God. Seven things, seven important things that God did for every one of us in 2017. Praise God. Then five things that is expecting from you and from me in 2018. Amen. 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 I said he has given us much. He has done much for us in 2017. One of the important things that he did for us, he gives us life. Praise God. He gives us what? He gave us life. And Job opened his mouth in the book of Job 34, sorry, 33 verse number 4. And Job said, the spirit of the Lord has made me and the breath of the almighty God has given me life. The breath of God that brings life to you. Some are paying money for it. Some are paying money for oxygen in 2017. But he gives you life. He gives you his breath. 
Praise God. So that you can live. So that you can escape death and accident in 2017. Praise God. And Moses says something in the book of Deuteronomy chapter number 32, verse number 40. Moses say, I raise up my hand. I lift up my hand unto heaven. As I say, I live forever. In 2017, you live. Lift up your hand and say, as I say, I live forever. I live forever. That is what God did for us. Praise God. He has given much to us. He has given much to us. Praise God. He gives us life. He didn't allow enemy to abort our life, our destiny. He that keepeth Israel is always on your side. Praise God. He that keepeth Israel is always on our side. Another thing that this God did for us in 2017 is provision. Praise God. Is what? Provision. Indeed, he provided for us. Number chapter 6, verse number 25, 24, 25 and 26, the Bible says something that is very, very important. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord bless thee and let his content, let his, um, what? Let his face to shine upon us. Indeed, in 2017, the face of the Lord shine upon every one of us. Yeah. Praise God. His face shine upon us. Look at verse number 26. Praise God. Number 26. Amen. Amen. The face of the Lord shine upon every one of us. Because he has given much. The Lord lift up his covenant upon thee and give Peace unto thee. We experience peace of the Lord in 2017. Praise God. Peace in your house. Peace at your job. Peace over your children. Peace over your husband. Peace over everything that you are doing. After I said, my peace I give unto you. My peace I give unto you. Our God is a giver. Number three, I'm talking about what he did for us in 2017. Number three is protection. Praise God. It's what? Protection. Indeed, God protected us. As a family, as a church, God protected us. Praise God. God did what? He protected us. Deuteronomy 33, 27 28 and 29. The eternal God is thy refuge. Praise God. And underneath are the everlasting hands. And he shall thrust out the enemy from thee, from before thee. And shall say, destroy all your enemies. And indeed, God destroyed all our enemies in 2017. He thrust them out. Praise God. Give me 28. Israel then shall dwell. Say to yourself, Obafemi shall dwell in safety alone. Israel shall dwell in safety alone. The fountain of Jacob shall be upon a land of corn and wine. Also, his heaven shall drop down dew. Indeed, our heaven in 2017 dropped down dew. Praise God. We have enjoyed a lot of, a lot of things from, from him in 2017. Praise God. He pro 29. He protected us. Happy are thou, O Israel, who is, who is like unto thee, O people, saved by the Lord, the sheet of thy head, and who is the sword of thy excellency. And thy enemy shall be found liars unto thee, and thou shalt tread upon the high places. And indeed, we tread upon the high places. That is what God did in 2017. He's a faithful God. Another thing that God did in 2017 
He gives us favor. We are highly favored. Praise God. We are what? Highly favored. We are highly favored. Leviticus 26 verse number 9, the Bible says, I will look unto you favorably. And indeed in 2017, the Lord look unto every one of us favorably. Because the Bible says, the eyes of the Lord are running to and fro upon the heart. Praise God. And God showed favor, showed us favor in 2017. Another thing that God did for us in 2017, he showed us mercy. Amen. He did what? Oh. Do you enjoy the mercy of God in 2017? Yeah. Even we don't deserve it. But he still showed us mercy. David says something. Psalm 119 verse 77. The Bible, David says, let your tender mercy come unto me that I may live for thy, for thy law is my delight. Another thing that we enjoy is the grace of God. Is what? Is the grace of God. The dream that you had, that you woke up and you started moving. Some people had that the same dream and they died. They died. Even when you want to shout Jesus, you can't even shout Jesus. You still wake, woke up and you're still living. Praise God. John chapter 1, verses 16 and 17. Hereby, perceive we that... No, this is first John. John, John. And of his fullness, have have all we receive and grace for grace. In the fullness of God, pour grace upon everybody. This is my daughter. This is my son. Receive grace. Take grace. And we are bouncing in the grace of God. Enjoying the grace of God. For the love was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by him, by Jesus. Praise God. So because of grace of Jesus Christ, there is no law. There was no law that can hold us down in 2017. Praise God. Another thing that we enjoy is the love of Jesus. Love of God. 1 John chapter 3, verse number 16. For by this we perceive love, that he laid down his life for us. And we ought to lay down our life for the brethren. Amen. 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 By this we perceive love. To whom much is given, much is expected. You can say that much has been given to you. In 2017, much has been given to you. Much. Because our God is a giver. Amen. Our God, Romans chapter 32, verse number 8. The Bible says something. The one that gave Jesus Christ, um, what, what can he give to us? He gave Jesus. There is nothing that he cannot give. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, let me tell you five things that God is expecting from you in 2018. Amen. Number one is faithfulness. In 2018 is what? Faithfulness. Faithfulness to God. Faithfulness to who? To God. Be faithful to God. Be faithful to the things of God. Don't do anything. Don't do the work of God with levity. When I look at some people, when they rebuke them in the church, they fall into unnecessary anger. Praise God. Praise God. In those days, when we were serving the house of God, I was in every department. I was an usher. 
It's only the I can't sing. It's only that I cannot sing. But every department, I was there. I was an usher. I was an interpreter. I was everything. Praise God. God is, a, God is your rewarder. Don't look at anybody. Because you can do something, you think you are the only one that can do it. God will not replace you in 2018. I said God will not replace you. And God said to Eli, Eli, hear me. I have said and I have proposed in my heart that no one will rule in the, house, in, in the office of Levite in the land of Israel. But I'm changing my heart now. I am changing over your life. I'm changing my life now. Anyone that's old in your house, they will not be more than 40 years of age. God will not change you in 2018. So please, come down. Don't brag on anything that God has given you grace to do. Thousands of people are there. They can do it better than you. Be faithful to God. Husband, be faithful to your wife. Wife, be faithful to your husband. Children, be faithful to your uh, parent. In your office, at your job, be faithful to your work. Praise God. Amen. 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 In 2018, if you can be faithful, I am telling you, you are going to experience a lot of things. A lot of things. Be faithful to your neighbor. And Joshua said, in the book of Joshua chapter 24, verse number 15, the latter part of 15, and Joshua said, I have decided, me and my house, we are going to serve God. We will be faithful to him. And I'm taking that decision now, that me and my household, we will serve God. We will be faithful to God. And don't forget to go with these three things in 2017. Number one, integrity. Number two, seriousness. Number three, zealousness. Integrity, seriousness, and zealousness. David says, the zeal of your house consume me. If God bless David, God knows the reason he always bless him. Praise God. Praise God. Don't come to church at your will. At your, at your will. In my house, if you see war, if you are coming to church, if you see war, if you see war, you won't believe it. You will think we are going to war front. Yeah. I'm telling you, I lie not. If you see, if you are coming to church, it's a war. I supervise everybody to the bedroom. I'm telling you, yeah. you must not late. To the bedroom. The time that Sunday is not the time that you are going to spend much time in the bedroom. Just put water and come out. Put water and come out. I'm not doing it for anybody. Faithfulness. Number two. Responsibility. Talking about what. God is expecting from you in 2018. Responsibility. Ready to take responsibility. Don't be lazy. Praise God. Don't do what? Don't be lazy. The hand of a diligent man will make read. That is what Solomon says. The hand of a diligent man will do what? We make read. Be creative. Amen. Amen. Be what? Be creative. Don't be redundant. Your brain is given to you in order to make use of your brain. Praise God. Praise God. Be creative. Don't pass blame to anybody. Don't do what? Don't pass blame to anybody. Job 19 verse number 4. Job said, even if I'm erred, if I'm erred, my error is still with me. Uh, but, and be, 
And be it indeed that I have erred, my error remained with myself. I don't blame anybody. Even my wife that was telling me that cause God and die, I don't need to blame her. The, the error, the mistake is sweet with me. The, that is the man that takes responsibility. Don't blame anybody. Praise God. Praise God. Responsibility. We need to take that in 2018. If we want to enjoy God, if we want God to bless us, to whom much is given, much is expected. I have told you what God has given to you in 2017. So he's expecting something good from you in 2018 so that you can have a better life. You can have a good life in 2018. Number three is watchfulness. Watchfulness. Praise God. You have to be sensitive. Most of us, are not, we are not sensitive to the things of the spirit. Like Pastor was saying at the solution night, that there's nothing given to a man that is not being released in the spiritual realm. Before you get it in the physical, there is nothing. There is nothing. Single dollar that is in your hand is being released from the spiritual realm before you can get it. After all, some are on the street begging for one dollar. 25 cents. People are still begging because it's not being released for them from them. Praise God. So be watchful. Watch and pray. In 2018, God is expecting you to watch and pray. And Jesus said to Matthew, uh, so, uh, to uh, disciples in the book of Matthew, chapter 26, verse number 21, he said, watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. In 2018, you will not fall into temptation. Amen. Watch and pray so that you will not enter temptation. Temptation is not a sin, but to fall into temptation is a sin. And Jesus said, watch, open your eyes to the things of the Spirit so that you will not fall into temptation. To people that come to your house and visit you in 2018, I remember some times ago, a family came to our house. The father, the mother, and four children. The first night, I had a dream. I saw four cats enter my, enter my house. I said, I called my wife. I said, they will not live in my house. Though. The next morning, I woke them up. Sir, ma, you are going to leave. They said, well, I said, no, you are leaving. I don't put sentiment to anything called spiritual. You are leaving. And they left. We are still talking up to now, but they leave. Yeah. Four cats entering my house. I said, no, no way. No way. You have to be sensitive. 365 days. No time to fast. No time to pray on your own. You need to be watchful. And the Bible says, Luke chapter 18, verse 1, 2, and 3. And he said, uh, and he, 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 he gave them a parable. He said, man ought all, always to pray and to do, and not to faint. Always. There are so many things that we enjoy in Africa. Praise God. When you are moving and you are shaking your head, people, they know that you are praying. They don't call you a madman. Everybody will be. They know that some, you, are, you are communicating. You're shaking your head. And you are moving. You are walking on the street. Well, I think, can you do that here? <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Praise God. Even if devil is coming, know that this guy is something, there's something in him. Praise God. Be your brother's keeper. Watch over your brother. Praise God. Be your brother's keeper. 
Don't put on I don't care attitude about your brother. God told Moses, if anybody is looking at anybody's sheep fall into pit and you refuse to rescue that sheep, you're a sinner. How much more? Life. In 2018, be your brother's keeper. Number four, accountability. Accountability. I'm talking about what God is expecting from you. Accountability. Amen. Don't be worldly. Praise God. Be moderate. Praise God. Be what? Be moderate. Be moderate. Don't love the world and the things that are in the world. That is the word of God. What are the things that are in the world? Lust of our eyes. Pride of life. Don't love the world. Amen. Be an example to others. Praise God. Let people learn something from you in 2018. A sample. Matthew chapter 12, verse number 16. 12, sorry. Matthew 12, 36. And the Bible says, Every idle word that man speaketh, they will give account of it in the day of judgment. Every idle word. Every idle word. And the Bible says something. Jesus says something to them. He said, anybody, anyone, anyone that say to his brother that you are a fool is, conde is condemned of hell. Just telling somebody that you are a fool. Every day of 2018, come back in the night. Give accountability of your journey that day. That even if Jesus comes, Tonight, do I want it? Praise God. God will help us. The Lord has a lot of things. You have heard from uh, Pastor Joe. A lot of things God asked for us in 2018. But if you want to enjoy those things, you need all this. Some will say, I'm not accountable to anybody. Yeah, you're not accountable to anybody. But one day, you will stand before the throne of judgment. You will know that you are accountable to somebody. Praise God. You know, some people, they are even treating their own body anyhow. Somebody that is treating himself anyhow. What do you want to say about that one? He will treat his wife anyhow. He will treat his children anyhow. Praise God. When they tell you, well, even they don't need to tell you that adultery is a sin. That is a sin that you commit directly to your heart. That is what the Bible says. And you still see some men, they don't love, they don't even care for their life. Running after strange women, sleeping on them, inviting strange arrows, 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 arrows. And a man told us, sometimes ago, an elderly man, he said, if you sleep with a strange woman, three years, three years, that arrow will not leave. If you are not careful, because it's a sin that you deliberately committed. God will be looking at you. Three years, you are still battling with that arrow. And deliberately, you will pay. Even you will put your money in your, because you can't bring it, bring her to your house. 
Praise God. Praise God. We have to be serious in 2018. I have decided. I told my children and my wife, I said, 2018, I am going to sacrifice myself in righteousness. I want to live a holy life. Yeah, that's what I told them. I said, in 2018, I am going to sacrifice myself in righteousness. Nothing more. So, God will help us. Amen. I said, God will help us. Amen. Hope you are not hungry. God bless you. The last one that God is expecting from you is appreciation. Learn how to appreciate God. Praise God. Learn how to do what? Learn how to appreciate God. Day by day. Praise God. Some are in the hospital from January to now. Praise God. They are changing their medications every day, every time. They are spending money. Praise God. Some of us, we will hit to the extent that we would still go and spend money to gym. <laughs> it's you that you are taking it. Praise God. You will still want to spend money to go and gym. Why can't you eat moderate? <laughs> Praise God. I'm sorry. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. You don't need to. It's a waste of money now. Just eat little. Amen. Eat little now. They have been challenging me. You don't take me to gym. We don't need gym now. We don't need gym now. Me, we don't. Praise God. Take us to gym now. Amen. 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 You will not eat what will kill you in 2018. Amen. You will not eat poison. Amen. Learn how to appreciate God. Is the giver of everything. Appreciate him. And Jesus said to them, ten of them, the lepers, ten of them were healed. But one, only one, and that one was a Samari, Samar, uh, Samarian. Don't take God for granted. Don't take him for granted. Appreciate him. Show your appreciation to God. Every day, God, I thank you. God, I appreciate you. If you can do all this, people of God, in 2017, sorry, in 2018, nothing will hinder your overflow. Be accountable. Be accountable to somebody. Praise God. Don't be all in all. You don't know all. Praise God. You don't do what? You don't know all. Even your children, they can give you advice. Your children. We wanted to sell something sometimes ago, and we were discussing. And three years old girl said, take, take this to so so, -so please. It, she doesn't know what we are talking about. Three years old. I take it to some so so, -so place. And we took all those goods to that place, and we sold everything. Just three years. You are not an highland. You need people around you. Praise God. Praise God. Integrity, seriousness, and zealousness. Amen. Don't undo the things of God with levity. I beg you in the name of God. 
there is a reward. Amen. Yes. There is a what? A reward. When God told Saul, well, this is what I'm expecting from you. He didn't do it. God changed him. When David think is, is already arrived, God told him, come, I took you from where? From, from nowhere, among the sheep. And I make you great. And I put your name among the great people. If you are not careful, I'm going to relegate you. You will not be relegated. Amen. In 2018, you will not be relegated. Amen. So children of God, I beg you in the name of God, 2018 is our year. Is our year, whether the devil likes it or not, is our year. Please, faithfulness, responsibility, watchfulness, accountability, and appreciation. To whom much is given, much is expected. Told you, much has given to you. And this 2018, he wants to give you more than what he gave you in 2017. Rise up on your feet. Talk to God and say, God, help me to be faithful to you. To your work. Faithful to my wife, to my husband, and to my children. And to the things of God. Open your mouth and talk to God in prayer. Father, help me, help me in the name of Jesus to be faithful to, my, to you, my God, to my wife and to my children in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, my God, help me. Help me in the name of Jesus. Help me, help me, help me. I need your help in the name of Jesus. I need your help. I need your help. I need your help in the mighty name of Jesus. I need your help. In Jesus' name we pray. Then talk to God, God, what you have committed into my heart, into my hands, give me grace to do it according to your will. Talk to God in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, what you have committed into my hands, give me grace to do it according to your will. In the name of Jesus, give me grace. I need your grace to do it according to your will. In the name of Jesus, give me grace. Give me grace. Give me grace. Give me grace. In the name of Jesus. Give me grace. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, we thank you. Eternal Rock of Ages, we appreciate you. Thank you for the grace. Father, we ask from you. Grace to be faithful. In the journey of 2018, give unto us in the name of Jesus. Help us, O oh Lord. Release your grace upon us. Unlimited grace in the journey of 2018. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray.